Hey, what's up, everybody? From the Big Four Classic in Des Moines, I'm Chris Williams. He is Rob Gray, our senior writer. We're here with a little instant reaction to actually two stories, Rob. Iowa State blows out Drake today, but then you had a commitment afterwards, a ver yeah. verbal commitment for Iowa State from a Marquette transfer, Deontay Burton. I mean, this is just, you know, another coup for Fred Hoiberg and his staff. Really one of the top transfers on the market right now picks the Cyclones. Yeah, gift-wrapped. I mean, yeah. long, lean, athletic, you know, perfect kind of guy, top 50 guy by some measures out of high school. Yeah. Guy that obviously uh, wants to come here, enjoyed the game here tonight, I guess, and, and got out of here. So, yeah, another huge get, kind of a gift-wrapped night for the Cyclones. Yeah, absolutely. The, the, the big story coming into today before the commitment was Jamil McKay. He looked, I thought, a lot like Abdul Nader did mm -hmm. during his start down in Kansas City at the beginning. But I thought Jamil, you know, the longer this basketball game went on, I thought he actually looked pretty comfortable out there in the second half. Yeah, I agree. He uh, seemed more in sync. Yeah. More rhythm. He had energy from the beginning, as you could see, the first time he came out, and it mm -hmm. looked like he was going to, you know, just gasping yeah. a bit. Uh, but, um, you know, what did he have, eight and six? Yeah, you know, something like that. Pretty good yeah. numbers and not that many minutes, sub-15 minutes. So, yeah, that type of performance is kind of what you'd expect. It's a refreshing thing for Iowa State when really I thought in the first half they didn't play well. They were up by 16. They continued to, uh, I don't know if I would say put the foot on the gas, but they, they, they played better, I thought, in the second half. They made some shots. They clearly overmatched Drake. But then there was the one moment in the second half I think we have to talk about where Naz Long got teed up. Oh, yeah. He hit a three in Gary Ricks Jr.'s face. You talked to Naz afterwards. I saw you yep. talking to him. What happened there? He said, um, cause emotions got the better of him a little bit. He said he's not that type of guy, not a he, you know, he's not a guy that wants to talk, but he just kind of felt like, you know, kind of get out of my face kind of thing. It's kind of what he said to Ricks Jr. And he apologized for it, said he had a nice talk with Hoiberg, came back out, hit a couple more threes. So um, right back uh, where he took up. Yeah, nonetheless, pretty big day for Iowa State. The game really what we all kind of expected, but then the commitment from Deontay Burton, that's really the, the big news today. Rob's got a lot coming up your way. Um, I'm going to write a lot about Jameel McKay's debut as well, so check out our coverage later on tonight here at CycloneFanatic.com.